Yes, my name is Chenin Zakarin. I'm the vice president of the Hokkien Association in Songkla. Yeah, we have the City Court Festival from uh, 28 June until 4th of July. So we have so many activities on, this, on these days. Uh, such as uh, at the first day, we have the Raising the Lanterns, just as the opening uh, of the festival. Yeah. And, uh, what, what, what does that mean? That means that when we uh, start a festival, we will uh, raise the lantern to be very high that so everyone can see from a far away. And the second day is, uh, is a light waving. It's like you light a candle and uh, you walk around the temple to dispel the bad luck. Yeah. And uh, the third day, uh, we're going to do some of the installing of the deities on the palanquins. And the next day, we have the, the big parade. Yeah. And, and the last day, we, we, we bring the, the lantern down. It's the last day, and we have some auction for the circus things. Uh, is this uh, the Chinese tradition? Uh, the name in Chinese is Sheng Hong Lao Ye. It means city god. So, is this uh, a Chinese uh, tradition? Uh, when we, we, we start the towns in uh, 1842, here in Songkla, uh, the king at that time is the King Rama III. Uh, he ordered uh, the governor to build a wall uh, around the town, a big wall, the great wall around the town. And, and then the, in the Thai tradition, they gave a city pillar. The city pillar is uh, inside of the, the temple. And then in the Chinese tradition, they bring in the city god to install here also. So this temple is very extraordinary because they have uh, two uh, sacred things in, in one place. And what does the god look like itself? It's like a, a Chinese uh, governor or a Chinese uh, nobleman. Yeah, yeah. I have some beard and, and uh, wearing a, a robe. Yeah. No, they, they come from China. It's a Chinese tradition. No, uh, in, in Thailand, they have maybe some temples, they have also a city god. Because uh, the Songkha people in the old time, uh, they migrate from China. Yeah, from China and uh, most of them are Chinese. So many traditions that we observe here in the Chinese traditions. Uh, the Chinese tradition is that uh, when we, we build a city uh, with a wall around the city, uh, we should have a city god to protect the towns and the people. Uh, so it is, it is the origin of the, of the story. Uh, but through all, also Thailand, and Isan, and in the deep south, yeah. they have always Chinese gods in the middle of the, of the, of the city? Uh, they have Chinese gods, but the city god is uh, only few, a few places. So it means that guys here are Chinese because I, I thought this was Thailand. How did yeah. it happen? Uh, the, the Chinese uh, migrated here many many years ago, maybe hundreds of years ago. So they, they, they set up the, their home here in Thailand. Uh, mostly they come from Fujian in China. And then uh, they come here to uh, make Songkla their new home here and uh, they bring in their own tradition from China here to Thailand. Yeah. Yes, my, my great-great-grandfather come from China. He's from uh, Fujian. Yeah. And then they uh, set up a family here in, in Thailand, in Songkla. Yeah. Um, and so what exactly is a city pillar? And I mean, it doesn't doesn't actually hold up the city, right? So what does it, what does it symbolize? Uh, city pillar is, is like the, the symbol, uh, the, the symbol uh, of the establishment of a new town. So when we have a new town, uh, usually we have a city pillar. 
which are bestowed by the king uh, to be uh, auspicious for the town. It is not a cornerstone, it's a layer, a foundation stone. So uh, in Thailand, we have a tradition that when we, you will build a new house, build a new house, you must have uh, some ceremony. Uh, that you will put the first column uh, into the ground uh, to build a house. Yeah, this is the same tradition. And does that explain, or what explains the shape of the city shrine? The uh, cornerstone is a block. It's a, yeah. In the, in the actual corner, it actually works as a foundation. Yeah, yeah. What is this supposed to represent? Uh, it's uh, like a column. It's like a column uh, of the building. Yeah. But there's some uh, uh, decoration at the top of the column, as you can see in the temple. And why, why is Songkhla the only city with a pillar? Uh, no, uh, they have so many provinces that have uh, the city pillars. But the, what makes me special is that we have uh, a city pillar in the Chinese temple. There's only one here. Like you say, almost many Thai cities uh, all have a city pillar. But 174 years ago, it was, it was quite unusual. And so why did the king decide, you know, of all the places, why did he decide to give to start one, give one here in Songkhla? Yes, because uh, it, it's about uh, the politics at that time. That he wanted to uh, make Songkhla a very strong home for the government in the southern part of Thailand. Uh, at that time, they called Sam. Yeah. So uh, at, at that time, the, the town that is uh, significant here, like the capital of the South Thailand, is Nakhon Si Thamarat. So he wants to make another town yeah, to be uh, similar importance. Yeah. Sometimes to balance the power and to escalate the power, expand the power yeah, into the south. So now we go to the first day, the lighting of the, the, the lantern. Yeah. And I'm just curious, you know, why, you know, why do you need to put it up so high? Because uh, they have uh, in the old time, they have no electricity. So when uh, the temple raised the lantern on the very high pole, uh, the villagers can see. Uh, when they see the lanterns, uh, the, bright, the brightness of the, the lantern, so they can see that the temple has a festival. The festival has started. Yeah. And on the third day, the city god's birthday and the tribute offering. So who are the people who come to give uh, Cheng Huang tribute, and wh what exactly do they do? Uh, they, they offer us uh, food and drinks. Uh, that is to, to commemorate his birthday. So, so uh, many people in, in Songkla, with the Chinese original, they, they come here and uh, to pay tribute to make them uh, prosperous for another year. A lot of people come from the government officials, from the Chinese descendants here, and the merchants, the, from, from every walk of life come here. Okay, so let's imagine for a minute that the city god, Cheng Huang, he's angry. Yeah. He's mad. Yeah. What bad things will happen to the city? No, it is every god is on the good side, not at the bad side. So uh, the god, is helping you, not punishing you, yeah. So I think it's, uh, he's not going to be mad here, yeah. Well, I mean, if he's a good god, then why do you need to come and give him food and stuff like that? Yes, to, to be the gratitude, to be gratitude to the god that he protect the house for around one year, yeah. Yeah, we don't consider it the waste of anything, of time or of money or anything. Uh, because this is uh, to uphold our spirit and to uh, warning us to do good things, not the bad one. So this, this kind of thing is uh, like the morals of the city, of the town. Yeah. Uh, actually, we don't uh, worship some wood or something. We worship uh, the good deed uh, that the gods had done and he teaches us some time to remind us of uh, what you should do in your own life. Yeah. Why do 
why did the Chinese who came here, why did they bring this particular tradition? Why didn't they adopt the local tradition? Uh, the Chinese have a very long tradition. They have their own tradition for a very, very long time. So when they go anywhere in the world, you can see that they have some Chinese temple. Even in the U.S., in Europe, in many, many places, they have Chinese temple. So that's maybe they give them the moral support for them. Because when you migrate to another land or other countries, you'll be very uh, adventure, many risks that they have to, to, uh, to deal with. Yeah. And then you have something that will support you. I think the God uh, and uh, something that we used to can support you to fight it. You have a spirit to fight it. In Songkha, we, we live in harmony for, I think, more than 200 years. So uh, the community is very close to each other, such as here is the Chinese, and the next road is the Muslims, and the next road is the Thai. So they have a very, very in, uh, interchanges uh, of activities here. When the Muslims have the festival, uh, we go and attend the, the festival. When we have here in, in our temple, uh, they come also, also the Thai. So uh, we are in a, <coughs> uh, in a very uh, tolerant uh, society yeah, that we can accept the uh, difference in belief. Yeah. On the fifth day, uh, or say on the, um, the fourth day, July, on the big grand procession, yeah. which <coughs> gods will go through the city? Uh, Twenty gods. Twenty, they have so many Chinese gods. Yeah, in the temple, not, not only one, it's 20. All of them will be installed in the palanquins and, and we carry around the old town yeah, uh, in the night. So it's very colorful and very exciting. What are the important ones? I mean, of course, you're the, the main city, the yeah. city shrine god, but yeah. why do you take another 19? Yes, because uh, we go together. Uh, when we have a uh, big scan processions, uh, so every god uh, in the temple they go together as a team, you know, it's a god team. Yeah. But I mean, people can come in here, so yeah. why do you have to take them? It's a lot of work, you got to take them out, go through the streets. Why all this work? Uh, it's a tradition that the, the god go to visit the houses uh, of the worshippers so they can bless them. So to be blessed in the, in the houses, to make them uh, safe and prosperous. And the worshiper will uh, take and uh, install a small altars yeah, yeah, to worship them. But um, the route through the city, I mean, Songkla has gotten a lot bigger than it was 175 years ago. Yeah. So, you know, why don't you take all the gods down to the beach and then all the way to the point? Yeah. I mean, why do you keep it just a small area? Because it's too long. We, we carry it on our shoulders. You know, uh, at, the, at the route, the distance of the route is, um, I think, more than three kilometers. Yeah. So if we carry more than that, we, we, we exhort, I think. <laughs> we can't carry that far. And there's so much noise going on. What's all this noise? Like what makes this noise and why? Is there a reason? The noise of the firecrackers, uh, everything, yeah. The, 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 the noise of firecracker is to expel the devil. Yeah, that makes them scare. Yeah, it's scare. And some of the, the drum, the bell, or something like that, to drive the, the bad spirit away. Can you describe the, peop the people when you carry the god around? Mm -hmm. um, how are you dressed and what your face looks like and why? Uh, they dress like the, uh, uh, Chinese uh, costumes. Yeah, to reenact uh, something that happened uh, 100 years ago. Yeah, and their face, I think their face is ties because they carry for a very long time. Yeah, women can carry also. They yes, also have women, yeah. Because they have, uh, uh, I don't know what to say, the, Chi the Chinese woman god. But the god, not only the male, also the female god, yes. Uh, the goddess, yeah, the goddess, uh, some, uh, uh, some ladies come to carry the goddess.
Um, and there's also other dancers and performers who come from different towns, like the lion dancers. And yeah. Can you say, who, who are these different dancers that come, and why do they come so far away to Songkla? Does it, does it have like a meaning for the festival that they come from so far? Yes, they come to pay tribute to the god. And sometimes you have uh, some uh, pledging to the god, such that you ask for something from, from them, and uh, you are... Your pledge has been answered. You have accomplished something. You come and pay tribute to him. So all the gods go through these streets and the people put something outside their house. What, yeah. what is it they put outside their house and why do they do this? Uh, that's like an uh, altar. That's uh, like the house altar put uh, alongside the road. Uh, when the procession coming, they light the joysticks and they pray it and they put the, 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 the joystick in the palanquins. Also and the God blessing them. Your feeling, your personal feelings, you've been, I mean, you're part, you grew up here, this is your hometown, you're mixed Chinese Thai. What does this festival, this particular time mean for you personally? Uh, is this, uh, I think it's a festival of the old town. That is our tradition to, to uphold and I think the uh, this festival will be uh, some, something to promote our town and, and to bring in the, the people together uh, to join this festival together. So we make uh, the community very stronger. Yeah. But what about for you personally? I mean, you, Kun Shanin, you can watch TV, you can yeah. fly to Bangkok to have a good time, but yeah. you spend so much of your time and your energy on promoting your family history and heritage. Why do you do it? What's in your heart? It's charity, you know. We, we should do some good things. Um, you know our life is not uh, only working or making money. So they have the time to, to giving back to your communities. Uh, you have to do some charity works that they make you feel a uh, better man. Yeah. Is that how you feel when you spend your yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very happy when I do the job for the temple. It's quite unusual. Yeah. Not only do you have a Chinese shrine in a different country, but you have a Chinese shrine and a pillar. Why for a parang? Yeah. Can you can you somehow explain this the how unusual this is for all of Thailand? Uh what, what makes it so different and unique? The unique is about that uh, this is uh, uh, the Thai tradition. Uh, when, you, when you build a new town, establish a new town, uh, the king will be show you the city pillar. Uh, and to marking the, uh, uh, the occasion. And then the, the governor at that time of Songkla is a Chinese. He is a Hokkien. So he built uh, the temple in the Hokkien style, in the Chinese style, yeah. And it's very unique because when you go to China, we, you, we, not have to, we don't have the place like this, yeah. And in Thailand also, they have, there is no, no, no town in Thailand that is governed by Chinese immigrants. This is only the town, yeah. So it's very unique here. Yeah. This is the urn, the ash urn. Uh, when you're praying to the God, you, you light up the joysticks and you put it down in the urn. Yeah. The urn is for one God and one urn. Yeah. This is the name of the temple, the Chen Wang Miao. It's called the, the, the City God Temple. Uh, the, the, the structure of the building, they have uh, four main columns. It's a one, two, three, four columns. And uh, the roof, even this uh, is very sacred. They protect the, the temple. Uh, in this temple, they have two principal deities. One is the city pillar. You can see the city pillar here. The city pillar is uh, uh, 
the light the column, you can see, and many many people come here to put a gold leaf around there. The other one is the principal deity is the city god, city god inside. So he is the is the city god, yeah, and with uh, his entourage, uh, his minister or something. Does he have a name in Chinese? Ah, uh, Chen Wang. Yeah, and they have. Uh, Uh, this one is an uh, altar for uh, Zhou Su Gong. Zhou Su Gong is a doctor god. He's a god of medicine uh, to help the people, to kill, make some medicine to kill the people. Yeah. And the other one is, uh, is a Maju. Uh. This is a Maju. Maju is a goddess. So uh, in this part of the temple, uh, this is a goddess site. Yeah. They have Maju, they have uh, Lim Kwan Niao, Ong Bo Niao Niao, Te Bo Niao Niao. So this is all the, the, the Chinese goddess. Yeah. And uh, another god is that uh, you can see that they have uh, mixing of the god. They have Thai. God here, uh, the, the two Thai gods is, to, is the guardians of the columns, yeah. And another Chinese god is uh, like, uh, like the minister, I think, <laughs> minister in the cabinet. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know how to describe. Yeah, it's a right, it's a minister. Yeah. Minister in the cabinet, yeah. exactly right. Yeah. Is uh, the Chinese god have some? Uh, formerly, they are, they are ordinary people, and when they when they did uh, many good things, very long time, they sacrificed they something. When when they died, uh, the emperor uh, let the status into the god. Yeah, like uh, our city god, the city god is like the, when when he is a human. Uh, he's a governor or a, a warlord or something like that. Do many good things, sacrifice for the countries when he died. So we uh, worship them as a city god. Yeah. 